Round up the family, hop in the car, and head out to the Wild West, but you only have to go to Attica. Check out the rodeo. If you haven't been to a rodeo, you're certainly missing out. It is, of course, America's sport. We're here with rodeo announcer Jerry Todd. We're at the Attica Championship Rodeo. Now, Jerry, I was here last year. I had an incredible time. But for people that don't know about the Attica Championship Rodeo, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about having fun. Just like you said, you had a great time when you were last year. And that's what rodeo is all about. It's good, clean family entertainment, something we really we strive to do. Uh, the Rawhide Rodeo Company, they're all about trying to entertain the audience, you know, so they get their money for it. Now, we're not talking about the Attica Rodeo. We're talking about the Attica Championship Rodeo. So what does that word championship mean? Well, this is a sanctioned event by, by two professional leagues of rodeo. In fact, the only two professional leagues in rodeo is kind of like the NBA and the, and the NFL. This is, this is uh, sanctioned by the International Pro Rodeo Association as well as the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. So uh, this rodeo here, we have the, the best cowboys in the country that are coming here to Attica, to New York, to try, you know, try to qualify for the International Finals Rodeo, which is the World Series of our sport. Now, it's kind of like the Olympics. There's a lot of different events all packed into one. So, so what are some of these events people are going to be able to check out? Well, I'm glad you brought up the Olympic part of it because that's what it's all about. We have what we, at the bucket shoots which we're kind of facing here uh, that's called the, uh, the, the the judged events kind of like the floor exercises where the Cowboys are judged on their ability what they do and then you have the speed of the track and field of rodeo which takes place at the opposite end of the which will be the tie down open the team open uh, the cowgirls for the barrel racing all that speed event so there's two different elements there in, in our industry now one of the things I noticed when I came to the rodeo last year is that a major part of it is tradition there's things you're gonna see that you might not have seen before so what what is the tradition side of it you know what are some of the things besides the events that we're gonna see well we have entertainment and, and this this year we've got some great entertainment I mean, S.L. Pemberton, who's been like a, a world-renowned trick roper. That brings back to, to that early years of rodeo, the Will Rogers, if you would have it, you know, where they take a rope and they would just do a lot of different tricks with it. So you could do the greatest tricks. And so trick roping or whip popping, that's all a part of our tradition of rodeo. So we'll see a lot of that. And, you know, another thing I noticed is that it's also a little bit of a party atmosphere. What are, what are the more entertainment sort of, aside from what's happening in the pen, what happens out there on the field? Well, we do try to entertain them in a party atmosphere. The music's a big part of it, you know. And of course, not only with the music, but you got your rodeo clown. And he's always throwing stuff at him, you know. And and, the, and he tries to get the people involved in it with the dance and just, just having a good time, you know. That's what it's all about. Well, thank you for having us out here, Jerry. And You're like welcome. I said, it is the perfect time to round up your family and end the summer on a great note at the Attica Championship Rodeo.